from the city of brotherly love. MLB The Show has baseball from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Game number three of this new season between the Chicago Cubs and the Philadelphia Phillies. Chris Farrow makes his big league debut right after this. Patrick Corbin gets the ball for Philadelphia in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? We're looking at one of the top pitchers in the league right now. Solid win total from last year, and he'd like to win a whole bunch of games in this new season. He's a good pitcher, and he normally pitches good at the beginning of the season, and he rides that storm out all the way through the end. It'll be interesting to Leading see the what kind of start he gets off to this year. The Here's Javier baseman. Baez. He Javier. will lead this one off today. Javier. Here's the pitch. Hit sharply toward the right side. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first down. With that, a look at the Cubs starting lineup. Danny, who stands out to you? Anthony. Well, you better look Hardy. out for Lucas Duda. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands. Always seems to turn in a good at bat. And he could do a lot of damage when he barrels up the ball. Now batting Anthony Hardy as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Tries to bunt his way on here, but this is a foul ball. Dan Dero, these Phillies as they begin play here today. It's official now. They will not go 162 and 0 as they were handed their first loss of the season last time out. Yeah, Matty, you can't win when, when you're giving up that many runs. The pitcher was missing over the heart of the plate, not executing down and away, not brushing back anybody, making anyone feel uncomfortable. Guys were taking huge hacks off them. And to the boot, baseman. the defense was on Tommy its heels. Stella. So striding in, Tommy Lastella. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First offering on its way. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone that kind of moves around a little bit too much for my liking. Yeah, Dan, I know there's not a clear scouting report with Daryl. I'll tell you what, you're going to know in the first two oh, innings right. where he's going to be. 2-0 now. Here he comes on 2-0. Too tight oh, with that one. 3-0. and Bases are empty here with two men out. And ball we'll four, have the first down. base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. Batting fourth. The first baseman, number 21, Lucas... Here's Lucas Duda. Duda now. Man at first after the two out walk. Here comes the first pitch. Swung on and dealt to the right for Duda. This one is deep. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Second home run early in the year as the Cubs are out in front now two to nothing. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. That Here's Starlin Castro. Starlin. As he takes a it's fastball right, off the one. plate for a ball 1-0. Oh. Oh. 
Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. Aye. And that's taken for a full strike two. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. The one two. Mine to the right side. Good is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Two for the Cubs in the inning on the strength of this two run home run. Home half of the first on its way from Citizens Bank Park. It's now 2 0 Chicago. Chris Farrow steps on the rubber today for his first major league start. Dan, what do you got on him? Well, I think the big key, Matt, is just going to be able to control the butterflies. You can only make your first start one time, and a lot of emotions, a lot of things are going through your mind when you're taking your warm-up pitches. Hopefully, you can settle down, control that heartbeat, as they say, breathe in, breathe out, and try to enjoy the first thing you experience. Well, Matt, the first thing we're, 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 we're going to find out is how well this guy Great. pitches with little sleep. Yeah. I can't imagine knowing that you're going to be the next day starting pitcher the night before. This is a young guy making his first start. Listen, you can only make his day one time, so there has to be lots going on in this guy's mind. Hopefully he can settle down early and pitch well in his debut. With that, a look at the Phillies batting order in this one. Danny, any thoughts? Well, if you're on the mound, oh. you better be careful with Michael Franco. Like, this guy is a career 300 hitter. You talk about consistent. He delivers a good at bat and clutch hits basically every time he walks into the box. I love watching this guy. Here's Brock Holt now. Two hits and eight tries for the series. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Dan, d -Row, the Cubs, as they take the field here this afternoon, they come into this one in good spirits, fresh off their first victory of the new campaign last time out. Yeah, Matty, we had a saying in Texas, hit or get left behind. And that's exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs, but good approach at the plate, working the ball to all gaps, line to line. This team swung the bats well. I'm going to be looking for that again in this one. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. And with strike three Third. reported there, he's Not notched his stop. first career strikeout. major league strikeout. Well, Matt, if he can become a consistent strikeout pitcher, you have to figure his career is going to end up being a solid one. All the best pitchers at this level have at least one pitch that they can go into in tough situations. So we'll see if he becomes one of those guys as his career goes along. Standing in now, Michael Franco. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. And that one cut a little too much. A ball and a strike. And here's a slider one for a ball, cold strike, strike, and he's count. behind one and two now. Liner in there for the base hit. He has success with two out, and the bottom of the first stays moving. A little two-out lightning right there, Dan, in the first inning. Let's see if the cleanup hitter's got oh, anything to store. Boy, it looks like it's so easy. A promising, Good. easy inning for the pitcher. Now, he has to deal with the thunder, the cleanup hitter coming up. In now, Jerome Good. And he'll ball watch one. one miss up and away for a ball. 1-0. Oh. Oh. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Throw over to the bag. Dive, but he's back in there. Now 
now the 1 0 and they pitch out two here ball. but nothing's no happening play. ball two. This is on the ground over the first. Oh, a diving stop by Duda. Wow. One left for Philadelphia. They trail things here two to nothing. In is Jorge Soler. Four hits already in the series through seven at bats. The one of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's 1-0. Farrow is making his debut on the mound today, as we've mentioned. This performance in this one could be a good barometer as to whether he's ready to deal with major league hitters at this point in his career. Yeah, Matt, this guy wasn't really the most highly touted prospect coming up through the minor league system, but one of the things he does, he throws strikes, and if he continues to pitch like he did in the minor leagues here at the big league level, there's no reason why he shouldn't be able to stay here and pitch very competitive baseball. One and two now. And another foul ball. I love the fact that the hitter was able to foul that pitch away. I always thought with two strikes, you give the pitcher that inside part of the plate and you do your best to cover away. Hit hard on the ground to short. Franco has it. Throw to first to be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So here's how the Phillies are positioned defensively. And let's focus on Anthony Rizzo. Not only a gold glove winner, this guy has won a platinum glove, bailing out his infielders time and time again with his soft hands and feel for the game. Stepping up now, Alfonso Navarro. He's two for seven in the series so far. First offering on its way. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Hard hit ball to second. Played on the backhand. Throw gets him. Two down. Batting eight. The center fielder. Steve Guardado. Digging in the switch hitter, Steve Guardado. First pitch coming, here it is. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. A two-ball, nope. no-strike count to the Cubs center fielder. He may be down 2-0 after those first two pitches in this A-B, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. Two and one after the foul ball there. The 2-1. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. Hey, they always say hitting in the eight hole in the National that League is one of the toughest jobs the to do. Because you're hitting in front of the pitcher. Not necessarily going to get pitched like an eight hole hitter. You want to get out of that spot? Guess what? New friends. Be better. Because basically every other hitter in the lineup is hitting in front of you. Into the box now, Chris Sparrow. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Guardado, the runner at first with two gone. Grounded up the first baseline on a foul ball.
fouled off. The one two. That misses and we're even at two and two. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. The 2-2 two -two is laid off, three and the count three runs three. full. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Liner towards second. So this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. One left for the Cubs, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Standing in, Anthony Rizzo. He'll get us going here in the bottom half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stage, and this one only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First pitch of the at bat on its way. He couldn't catch up with the gas that time. Rizzo is one of those prototypical left-handed bats that really excels against right-handed pitching. Sees the ball well coming from that side. And here's a ball hit in the air. Soler sprinting after it. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So here's how the Chicago Cubs are positioned the fielder. And this team... They're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. So the base is empty here with one away and standing in the fine center fielder Adam Jones. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's nope. a fastball to start him off, but that misses for ball one. Farrow has generated quite a bit of hype during his minor league career, and it wouldn't be too surprising if some of these opposing fans bought tickets primarily to see him pitch and maybe boo him in his debut. Well, listen, this is the much-anticipated debut, and they're not making it easy for him as he's making his debut on the road, but that must tell you what the organization or what that manager feels about this young pitcher. If they feel confident enough to run him out there on the road in his debut, that tells you they really like this guy. Bounce towards the mound. On to first, oh. and there were two down. That is good. The catcher, Pete Into the box now, Pete Gonzalez. He went deep in the contest last night. Here comes the first pitch. What are trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball? Wide 2 0. Oh. Pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at 2 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Oh. And it misses 3 and 1 now. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that is true into right field for a single. Batting it. The second baseman. Yeah. Here's Ben Zobris now. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away.
first delivery to him on the way. Oh. Up and in for ball one. Ready with the one and one. And here's a fastball, not close as he runs it to two and one now. And it's fouled away. The two two. Just hung in there on that one. A runner on first with two away. This is pulled into right. So there is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Philly strand one. They trail it here, two to nothing. It's hard, but lined down in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. And that oh. one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Barrow makes his debut here as a September call-up amidst much anticipation. And assuming he lives up to the expectations, he could turn into a big piece of this rotation going forward. Boy, you said that right, Matty. And I think the minor league players that get called up today, they're so much more experienced than they were, say, 10 or 15 years ago with all these games, the futures games, and these minor oh. league all-star games and showcase games. These guys are exposed so to a lot more at an early age. And I would Anthony. be surprised if he pitches Party. really well in this one. Well executed two-seamer on the outside corner that time. And, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Riding in once again, Anthony Hardy. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First offering on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Runs up and gets this one down. And he'll ensure that, that this crap. ball stays foul and a smart play as that would have been a base hit if it had come back. The one two. Swing and he pops him up. Zobris is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting, the third baseman, Tommy LaStella. Here's Tommy LaStella now. Nine at-bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, he's cool. off 1-0. and oh. Pulled toward right center field. After it is Jones. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Cubs are down in order, but they're on top two to nothing. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Patrick Corbett, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Patrick Corbett. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Yeah. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Yeah. 
at the ball. ball one as he lays one off one. below the zone. He pulls this one into right. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first down. Oh, and a highlight no reel catch there, no, no doubt. He laid out Three. to sacrifice his body, yeah. brought it in, and secured it all the way to the ground. You know his pitcher really appreciates an effort like that. Into the box, Rich Hoskins. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 1-0 is in there for strike one. The 1-1 one -one is laid off for ball two. One half, nobody on. Zero. Tried to jerk that one, and it's two and two. I got to count two and two. And this will miss down three low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. Into the corner and slicing foul. Another payoff pitch. He loses him on ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly now, what we saw You're right there. Man. Pitchers work oh. around them and nibble the corners oh. a lot more so they don't get burnt. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of his own. So a runner at first with one man gone, and that'll bring up the versatile utility man, Brock Holt. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Aye. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat-mouse game continues on. Hoskins, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Now a move over to first. No, and safe. the runner back safely. Comes set, and the 0-1. He's taken for strike two. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. He's ready now. The pitch popped him up. Navarro waits on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batter, not shortstop, Michael. Go. Now at the plate, Mike Franco. He reached on a single in his first try. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. And that misses all one. one. No One to count. Throw over to first. Hey. Dive, but he's back. Two out with the man at first. One ball and two strikes to count. Look 
looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Yank the slider across that time laid off for a ball. Rounded slowly to the left side. Gonna be a tough play. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. You know, Velo, sometimes one of your best friends are your own team right there. Good for the first base to beat that throw to second. And guess what? He bought his battery made a knock. Yeah, he definitely bought him a knock. You know what else he's gonna buy him? He's gonna buy him dinner on the road at some point because that's some significant hustle right there. It was a nice play. The internal clock of the defender thought he still had a chance at second. Wasn't meant to be. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Oh, that's First bad. pitch here misses wide. 1-0. Two down. Runners at first and second. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. The one two rolled slowly down the first baseline, fielded cleanly, and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. No runs, a hit, two left. On now to the top of inning number four. The Cubbies are in front, two to nothing. Back with Mark DeRose and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersen, as the left-handed the hitting slugger and USC ball. product Lucas Luke Duda hit. settles in to start out the inning. First offering on its way. No balls and a strike to count. Here comes the 0 1. And oh, 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. And he comes back with a gorgeous slider there for strike two. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. There's Starlin Castro. He'll follow next. And he lays oh, off boy, there, ball tough. four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. When a guy homers off you the early in the game, the last thing you want to Short do is stop. challenge him and maybe Starlin. have him do it again. He was a lot more careful with him there. In now. Castro hit it hard when lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. There we go. And a bouncing ball foul. Two runs on two hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Here's the 0-2. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Oh, 
count is even at two and two to Starlin Castro. Kind of pitching him backwards in this AB. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Working for the punch out and the offering. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. The batter. So with the runner in first and one gone, Jorge time to bring in our pitch Soler. speed comparison for these two starters. And both of these guys bringing it pretty good. 97 and 93 is the top recorded speed so far. Ready for another chance. Jorge Soler. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Skied into straightaway right. Moving under it. Good. Two gone. Now batting. Catcher. Alfonso. Navarro. Digging in for his second at bat, Alfonso Navarro. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. From the stretch. And that one got a piece of it. This is a perfect example of why the slider is such a great pitch and such a dangerous the pitch, too. Sometimes it moves so much that you just Lord lose Otto. control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result. At the plate, Steve Guardado. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. First delivery to him on the way. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time, every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches nope. have been for strikes. One ball, one strike to count. Set. Here comes the 1 1. Maybe a favorable call there taken for a strike. You can clearly see that the hitter didn't like that strike call, and his manager, he didn't like it either, as he's given the umpire an earful from that dugout. Hit down the third baseline. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Duda on second. Navarro at first, two out in the inning. is two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Full count, three and, two. three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Two pick. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the now bat this the early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. Barrow. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Yeah. 
Riding in, Chris Barrow. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. A pause. And the 0-2. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. And he comes back to get him for so a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. A couple of walks, but no damage. More from Citizens Bank Park in just a moment. At the plate, Anthony Rizzo flied out in his first half to bat, so make it really for one so far. Almost, Matty, almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swing, and he pops him up. Castro into shallow left. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. Every That's pitcher loves fielder. to get quick Number outs, ten. right? How about that? Out one pitch, off. one out, a pop-up to start the inning. So he's one away now. That'll bring in the dangerous Adam Jones. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. And a layoff fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. Bases are empty, one man out. Hey. And he fires in a strike this one time ball, to make it strike. one ball and one strike. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back to back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. The 1 1. Misses ball two. Hit in the air to right field. There to pull it in is Solaire, and there are two away. The catcher number 34. Keith Gonzalez. Ready now, Keith Gonzalez. First delivery to him on the way. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocity. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're down two to nothing. Ready once again. Javier Baez will look to light a spark up. under this lineup that this hasn't amazing. found the scoreboard since there. back in the first oh, inning. Yeah. yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they face. It's been very difficult to rebound and quite frankly dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike. something in the works here with the leadoff hitter aboard and a guy that can really handle the bat in the number two spot. Anthony Hardy. 
Now at the plate, Anthony Hardy. He flew out in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Good. It's on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Now batting. Third baseman, Tommy LaStella. Digging in once again, Tommy LaStella. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a looper to left. Hoskins comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. The first baseman, number 21, Lucas Duda. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And that will bring up the left-handed power threat, Lucas Duda. And they'll snap one over the first. And the runner back. Snap throw to the back. And he'll dive back in safely. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Ready. Here's the 1-0. And this Go winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 now. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul. 2-1. away both clubs with three hits in the ball game that misses and it's going to set up a big pitch now three and two all right, 3-2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. He's set. Here's the 3-2. and two. Hit down the line at first. Another full count offering on its way. Lifted down the line in left. Hoskins is after it. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Cubs strand one. They're up two to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Way to go. Okay, Philly. thank you, Heidi. Into the, the box, basement. Ben Zobrist. Yeah. He'll start things down here in the home fifth, Zobrist. and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. First pitch on its way. Hey. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Oh, 
off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. A one one. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Hey, I can understand this batter's frustration right here. He's trying to be aggressive and get something going for his team. They are getting shut out in the fifth inning, but that's exactly why they're getting shut out. You need to keyhole and stay on the attack and make this pitcher come in the middle of the play. This is hit softly to third. And a good throw gets him one gun. The pitcher, 46. Astrid. Corbin. So here now is the pitcher, Patrick Corbin. First pitch of the at bat. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Swing and a liner. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. And this will find a wall deep in the corner. Well, that's his first major league hit. There might not be too many more to come considering he's a pitcher, but I'm sure that's still a pretty exciting moment for him. Hey, listen, hits are hard to come by, Matt. I only had one in my entire 18-year career. One for 15, but hey, I still remember that one hit. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Rich Hoskins comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Zone that time, oh, take him and rule the strike. Plain to see right there that the manager's sticking up for his hitter, making sure that that strike zone gets a little bit tighter. It's tough to cover both sides of the plate, and they both want that strike zone to be shrinked up a little bit. Rounded down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Down quickly go the Phillies. They trail things here two to nothing. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. It puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit outside that's the ball. without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on a swivel. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Two. Mine to the right side. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. Sometimes you just got to trust your hands. That pitch probably now wasn't even in the zone. The right he was able to fight it off for a base hit. Here's the Philadelphia manager on his way out to the mound now. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. 
the windup lasting just five innings here didn't pitch all that poorly yet he's gone nonetheless. Ladies Pablo and Busher will come on please. in relief as he'll make now his second appearance the of the season so far. Number 25, Pablo Busher. Jorge Soler. Oh, and so nice. take a look at ball one. Hits are now even at four apiece. One one pitch. Aye. And that fastball is taken, but catches the outer third. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. The two two is looked at, and the count moves full. Castro gets his lead at first, nobody out. And he oh, misses four. ball That's four. Out. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you I'll give up a so. single right before that no, to start the inning. Out. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Stepping in, Alfonso Navarro. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First offering on its way. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Navarro, a native of the Dominican Republic, he's in his third season as a major league player. He's ready, here's the 0 1. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Whoa, Yo, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Check swing grounder to the right side. The second for one. On the first to complete the double play. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs. Standing in now, Steve Guardado as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Runner in scoring position with Chagan. The 1-0. Taken ah. strike one outside corner. Swung on but fouled off to the left. Two down. Popped him up. Rizzo is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One left in the cup, as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead.
Digging in, Brock Holt over to here to start the afternoon. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. And there's oh. one away. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Michael. Franco. Digging in. Michael Franco. Two base hits, both singles to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that misses for ball one. One out, nobody on. Aye. In for a strike, it's one and one. One and one. Offering on its way. A oh, ball and no strikes. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. Yeah. That's by him for strike one. Hey, as an offense, you do your homework, you scout. He hasn't been using that pitch an awful lot. I say you just throw that out. If he's going to flip that occasionally for a strike, then so be. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Aye. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. Throw in He's time, up. and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. They trail it here, two to nothing. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Getting set for the seventh now with the Cubs out in front. And before the inning gets underway, let's get a look at our game summary to this point. Your Ruth attention, please. Luther is on to now pitch from the bullpen the now to start inning number seven. Number 29. Roll. Luther. Stepping up to the plate, Chris Barrow. He looked look to bounce up. back after striking out his last time Chris. up. Yeah, and kind of shocked. He got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this evening. Nope. First pitch of the inning is taken nope. downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. The 1-0. Line drive to center field. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. With that, the Cubs get their leadoff man aboard. Well, that's his first the major batter. league hit. The there might man. not be too many Pumpier. more to come considering Fire. he's a pitcher, but I'm sure that's still a pretty exciting moment for him. Hey, listen, hits are hard to come by, Matt. I only had one in my entire 18-year career. One for 15, but hey, I still remember that one hit. In now, Javier Baez. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point.
Here comes the 0-1. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And they really punch him up on that one. He swings and misses for the first out. That's a pretty good pitch right there. That fastball the left on the inner half 32. of the plate. You can see that he just isn't able Party. to get those arms extended. And pretty ugly swing right there. Into the box now, Anthony Hardy. Ball one. Ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 0. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up, but this will land untouched. One one home down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Barrow leads off first with one away. Hard on the ground towards short, and that finds its way through for a base hit. I don't know what side of the fence I fall on, boys. Old school, new school. I think I kind of stand Tommy right along that fence. But one thing that Stella. gets me jacked up is watching guys grind down an account and drive base hits the other way. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and that'll bring in Tommy Lastella to bat next. Here comes the first pitch. In there, 0-1. Hey, when you're in a tough spot right there, that's an excellent job by the pitcher to get ahead 0-1. He has now got this offensive player on the defensive. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Runners are at first and second with one away. Nope, Ball that's one ball. as he lays off below the, the zone. One and two. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. A swing, and he pops him up on that's the infield, that. and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Up next to the car. The first baseman, Lucas Duda. Lucas Duda will stand in again as we flash it back to earlier. He's accounted for their only run to the ball game on one swing of the bat as this was the swing right here. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. And that's dead center for strike one. One and one. The count to the Cubs first baseman. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed that's coming across the plate. You might think he got a shot to stay inside that one. Two men are on with two men out. Here Swing on and miss. One ball, two strikes. The 
one two. That's Looked at for ball number two. two, two. The two two is fastball two, two. taken high for a ball. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Bounces to the left side. There is Franco. On the first, and the Cubs squander what looked like a good opportunity at that end of the inning. Cubs strand a couple. Stands in Way to go. Really starting to run out of the time. They haven't been able to score any Anthony. runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now Rizzo belts one, carrying well into right field. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day, Dan. He kept the front shoulder tough, kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends to hit the nice job. You know, Nero, I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is. He hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait for the seventh inning and this one to come through. Barrow is working a real gem here in his major league debut. Any of his doubters won't have a lot to say, at least after this one. You'd like to see them get him out of here before he leaves with a bad taste in his mouth. He was really pretty much in control of this game for the first five, six innings. And as these pitches and innings have started to mount up, you can just see that he isn't quite as sharp and he's not getting the swings and misses that he did early on in this game. No one out with a runner at second. Now a cutter, but that's in the dirt for a ball. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get out. That's been the case for him today, and it's really worked. Really good late fight on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box, Keith Gonzalez, as he takes a called strike on the black. It's 0-1. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Here's the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. its way the 0 2 pitch Pulled the fastball one, down two. a little too much there that's ball one not a bad pitch right there on 0 and 2 a fastball and I think as a hitter right now you have to continue to go up there looking to hit off the fastball the one two skied into straightaway right so there is there two down Ben Zobrick, a line out and a ground ball for an out on his line so far. He's set, here it comes. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss.
tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time, laid off for ball one. Tough spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open, so you have to almost be trying to think like the pitcher. Is he going to try to pitch around me, or is he going to come in the strike zone? One one now to Zobris. That's nope. ball inside, just Zobris. inside. Watching him on the mound right now, I think he's just having trouble throwing strikes to this guy. Up only two runs. I don't think he's working around him. The two one is laid off ball. off of ball number three. Here's the game within the game. You have a better matchup on deck. You got a three one count in this situation. Don't be afraid to put him on base and attack the next guy. Rizzo stands at second with two gone. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Well, when you've been out now there as long as he has, you have to expect to lose a little precision in your location. Luther. He's up over 90 pitches now, so he might be starting to tire a little bit. Something to keep an eye on. Your Kevin Marcus will come on to pinch, pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 21, Kevin Marcus. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Side with the curveball for a ball. Those 0 2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. And he lays and off it to even the count 2 and 2. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3 2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right here. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Well, the party on that swing is it's well wide at first. Two men are on with two men out. Not where he wanted that down. fastball three, to be, and it's three and two now. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat, is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Now the three and two pick. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to left field. So they're going back. And this one is gone. A home run. Three-run shot to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him as the Phillies move out in front, three to two. situations you dream about when you're a kid. He steps up in a big spot and blasts his first home run of the year to take the lead. Storybook stuff has come to life. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. Not an altogether bad performance here. Six and two-thirds, but he stands to be the loser unless things can turn around. 
Just Justin Grimm makes over pitching, pitching duties, looking to get that now final out now here Chicago. in this seventh inning. Number 52, Justin Grimm. Stepping in now, Rich Hoskins. As he gets a good curveball here to start the at bat, it's strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The wind up and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But the Phillies use the long ball here, and they get three on this three-run home run. We'll march on to the eighth, and Philadelphia's taken a three-to-two lead. And we're back from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said it's been a real team effort to focus on a line drive approach, and that is certainly evident in this game. Our stat guys tell me they've hit nine total line drives. And even though not all of them have resulted in base hits, those are the swings the team believes leads to a lot of success at the plate. All right, Heidi, thank you. Brian Ramos is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. Settling in now, Starlin Castro. He's working on a one for three thus far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And a step on first himself to the out. Now that Our line score to this point Dwight tells Fielder. the story. You see the Jorge Phillies leading this one at home Soler. here at Citizens Bank Park as we draw nearer to the end. The next cover, Jorge Soler. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's set and the pitch. Breaking ball, ball that time that misses out of the zone. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Both teams with six hits so far. And this inside, one's too far ball inside, two. ball two. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders. But now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fast. Ball. Three and oh now. Set. Here's the 3 0. And oh, they won't let him walk that easily as that somehow ruled the strike. 3 and 1 now. The 3 1. Popped up. Franco is under this one. And he's got it for out number 2. Alfonso So in now for Chicago. Alfonso Navarro. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Here comes the first pitch. In there, strike one. Here's a cutter that's off the plate, one and one. Ramos, a 32-year-old veteran. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in now off the plate, 
batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. Quick check on that time. Oh, run at first. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. In now, Steve Guardado. One -oh. Pitch out. Nothing doing. And there he goes towards second. Pitch inside the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with Eve. Hey, it's almost impossible to throw a base runner out that gets a lead that big. And plus, this catcher's not known for having a cannon of an arm. Hey. That one catches the edge of the zone called the strike. Away. Navarro at second with two down. Left side, but well fouled. Pretty easy take there. When a pitch is close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. The payoff pitch. He spoils another one and will do it again. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. at the home plate area so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here Pedro Strope will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season and batting in the seventh spot number 46 Pedro Strope now catching and batting up. Standing in, number Brock Holt. He'll get things well, started in. now in the bottom of inning number eight. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit hard on the ground for a second. And that's a face hit. So a chance for some important insurance here to kick off the bottom of the eighth. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up in there. Standing in now, Michael Franco, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. So far, two for three in this one. One either it's 2 0. Oh. Stroke has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. Now the 2 0 -oh is You're swung right. on and missed strike one. He came out of his shoes on that one, boys. I know we swung and missed it. We felt the breeze from up here. But if he gets that pitch again, catches it a grain low, we got action. 
And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third right field of the game, Hero. Three for four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. The fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Jerome Good. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. The 0 1 pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. First and second here with nobody out. Right side, but it's well fouled. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. 0-2 once more. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. The next 0-2. Back up the middle and into center field. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there. To not only get a rippy knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a 1-1 game where every pitch is so important. You're one pitch away from a solo tying the game up. That's not the case now. Into the box, Anthony Rizzo. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. Great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. 2-0 count, here it comes. Two balls and a strike. He struggled a bit coming out of the bullpen here, so he needed that strike. Maybe it settles him down a little bit. Get hard but fouled off toward the dugout. None out, runners at first and second. High in the air down the right field line. So there on the move. And he makes the catch in the corner. And he is oh. in there. Good read there at second base to know this would make it to third on the flyout. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. Now with the play, Adam Jones. And their runners at the corners now. to the at-bat. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounded in the strike zone. 
ready with the nothing in one pitch. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Well, when you hear people talk about the unwritten rules of baseball, I think we just saw a perfect example of that. You hit one of mine, and I'm going to hit one of yours. Always been that way, and probably always will be, even though they've tried to crack down on that kind of stuff recently. Digging in now, Pete Gonzalez. the stretch here's the pitch Distance outside quite a bit off the plate that time line toward center field catch made in center here comes the runner from third and they'll extend the lead even further as the runs into score from third with five to two and is here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Ben Zobrin will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. The 1 0. And he fouls this one off. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. The 1-2. Pulled toward right center field. Solaire's after it. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Ninth inning coming up. Billy's on top, 5-2. to two. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. David Robertson please. comes on from the DC pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top now of the ninth. And batting in the seventh spot, number 30, David Robertson. Now catching and batting nine, number 19. Leading off the inning, Wellington Castillo, oh, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. From the stretch. Fouled away. Robertson, originally from the state of Alabama. This is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. Yeah, Matty, you ain't kidding right there. Ten years, we refer to that in the biz as hitting full pension. The 0 1 pitch. Got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Now the 0-2 pitch. Fouled off. Another 0-2. And a swing and a miss on the fastball. And there's the first out here in the ninth. Man, I love watching the pitcher that just wears the back and blows smoke by Second a guy base. at the letters. That's the Pop ultimate yeah. challenge pitch. And oh, yeah. for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Yeah. 
Into the box now. Javier Baez. Hard on the ground towards short. Go on to first. Gets him, and that means the Cubs are down to their final out now. Now batting. Left fielder. Anthony Hardy. Ready for another shot now. Anthony Hardy. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. A called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Not the largest crowd ever, but they're on their feet. Philadelphia Phillies used a three-run seventh to help propel them to the win. Raul Luther claims the win out of the pen, his first. David Robertson earns the save out of the bullpen, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.